What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you the first video of us working on the Montero. I've got a bunch of parts uh, that I just picked up. I'm just gonna throw them all on. We've got a, let's see if it focuses. There we go. Uh, this is a wheel cylinder. Because the rear one is leaking. We've got two shocks right there. Brake pads, brake fluid, seat cover for the bench seat, and then some additive for the oil. Um, so let's get started with uh, jacking up the front end and pulling at least this wheel off to start. Because I'm going to throw the spare that's on the wheel, or on the rear, on here since the camber wear on this tire. Wow, this is absurdly dark. The camber wear on this tire is really bad, so I'm going to swap it out. So I'm gonna throw a oil additive in the engine right now. This stuff, just to see if I can get it to stop smoking with that. Um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna have to pull the tops of the, or the valve covers off and replace the valve stem seals, which isn't that big of a deal, but this would be easier and cheaper, so let's give this a shot. Well, it seems she still smokes like a pig, so I'm gonna have to do valve seals which is sort of what I expected, but this is it after idling for about 10 minutes. It gets real bad. Yeah, I think that's exactly how it's supposed to look. What? Oh my God. Inside the drum. Whoa. I can't believe that. Look at that. <laughs> So I'm gonna click, get this all cleaned up and throw that new brake cylinder in there. I think that one might be a little bit leaky. Actually, this might be axle grease. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I think it caused an issue the first time I put it in four wheel drive. Uh, the CV axle bolts to a flange on the end of the intermediate shaft on the passenger side. Um, and that flange had backed itself out of the axle. Um, here, let me show you. So it's a little bit dark, but let's see. This is the CV axle. This is the start of it. And then this flange right here, it'll focus. This flange right here is goes down into the axle. It's going out of focus again, come back in. There we go. So I basically, I just lifted it back up and then pushed it back in. Had to use a hammer to get it to seat all the way back in there. But it seems to be all good now, so it's just something I'll have to keep an eye on. So that's gonna be all the work I get done on this hoopty today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you wanna see more, and let me know what you think down in the comments or uh, let me know if you have any ideas on that axle, if you think that's gonna stay in or not. 
That's gonna be it though. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.